So you remember a few weeks ago when I tried to buy a cat online and it ended up being a scam? Well, it turns out there's some folks doing the exact same thing with puppies. So today we're gonna learn about how to watch out for puppy scammers. I wanna say thanks to my friends at Surfshark VPN for making this video possible. If you want to secure your digital life, then check out my link down below and get a discount for three months free. So somebody told me that they tried to buy a cockapoo dog from a certain website that took his money and never shipped the dog. So I went and I checked out the website and the first question that came to my mind is, how has Disney not sued these guys already? <laughs> but the puppies are pretty cute, so I decided to give them a call. No answer, but I soon get a text message from them saying, hello, sorry I missed your call. Are you calling about the cockapoo? And I said, yes. He said, I have puppies available and ready to go now. So where are you located and how soon do you need a puppy? I said, well, hopefully soon. I was interested in Ash. And I do a reverse image search for Ash and I find him on some website called Puppy Spot where apparently he's already been sold. Okay, that's weird, but the guy writes back and he says, thanks, Ash is ready to go now. I am asking $800 for Ash, including shipping. So where are you located? I said, Utah. I am located in DC, but I can ship the puppy to you ASAP if you are ready. Okay, my guess is that he stole the picture of Ash from this legitimate website and claimed it as his own. So let's see if he'll fall for my favorite trick. So I send him a trackable link to some other dog site. I say, do you have puppies like this? And he just responds with his own website, but he did click my link, giving me some very interesting information. Well, that's not anywhere near DC. This guy's clearly a scammer, so I just write back and I say, I'll discuss with my wife and get back to you about Ash. So I wait a few days, and what am I supposed to do with this guy? If I don't do anything, he's gonna keep ripping off dog lovers. So I set up a new Google Voice number and I call back. And once again, he texts me saying, hello, sorry I missed your call. Are you calling about the cockapoo? I said, oh yes, do you want me to call back? He says, can you text if you don't mind? Okay, whatever, the guy doesn't wanna call me because he's in India and he knows that I'll find out that he's a scammer. I said, okay, can you tell me where you're based out of? I am located in DC, but I can ship the puppy to you ASAP if you are ready. I said, well, I would like to be able to see the puppy first. Do you schedule appointments? He said, okay, do you want to come to DC? I said, or we can do a video call. He said, I don't do video calls. I said, well, what's the best way to see the cockapoo? He said, okay, no problem. I said, that was a question. You can come to my home or you can send someone. I said, okay, what's your address? So I look up the address and I see a home and then I take a picture and I send it to him saying, this? Yes. I was like, you keep all the dogs in that house because I want them to be home pet only and not show quality. Yes, they are raised at home with us around kids and other home pets. Okay, there's no way the District of Columbia lets you own like 20 dogs. I say, does the city let you own that many animals? I am a breeder, so what do you mean? The city let me own many animals? I said, I just mean that most cities have ordinances that say you can't have more than two to three pets. Here is different. Okay, so I looked up the regulations for owning an animal in Washington, D.C., and I learned that you can't own more than four. So I sent him the link and I said, I think the city animal division would disagree with you. And he didn't have much to say after that. So I spent a little more time looking at this website and I learned that nearly all the pictures were ripped off from some other websites. I mean, here's a nice testimonial from a family who bought a dog named Buff. And here's that same family talking about that dog named Jasper on a site called cockapooppuppies.us. And here's another dude. And the rest of these dogs have had pictures taken on some green picnic table. And that picnic table is owned by some dude in Napanee, Indiana. All right, this is ticking me off. So I get a third Google Voice number and I don't even bother calling him because I know he won't answer. I just text him and I say, hello, is your website up to date with available dogs? He said, thanks for the love you have for my puppies. Yes, I still have available cockapoo puppies ready to go now. So where are you located and how soon do you need a cockapoo? I said, I'm in Utah, where are you? I'm located in DC, but I can ship the puppy to you ASAP. So how soon do you need a puppy? I said, as soon as possible. 
So let me know once you are ready and I can send you my sales contract for you to read through and let me know if you are fine with the terms of the contract before we can proceed. I said, I'm ready. So he sends me a contract and he says, just let me know if you are fine with the contract so I can fill the contract sign and send to you before you make payment. Okay, why is he sending me a contract when we haven't even discussed what dog I want or how much it's gonna cost? So I look at the contract and then I say, okay, one question. Okay, who ships the puppies if you are in India? He said, I am not in India, I'm in Texas. What? I said, you said you were in DC. Yes, the puppies are in DC, but I am in Texas now. I went for a visit. <sighs> this dude can't even keep his lies straight. I said, your IP address is coming from India. I don't know why. Uh, cause you're in India. <gasps> and that's what I said. Are you gonna confess to scamming or do I need to shut you down? And he said, absolutely nothing. So you have chosen death. So I went to whois.domaintools.com to see who was hosting their site, and I found an email address to report abuse. And then I sent along everything that I've mentioned to all of you, and if the people hosting this site are worth their salt, they'll do the right thing and they'll pull it down before more people fall for this scam. So the next time you run into a site that is obviously scamming people, you can use this method to find out who's hosting the site and get them reported. And there's a lot of these sites out there, so please do your civic duty and report them when you see them. And please be careful when you're shopping online. You can never be too careful. And that's why you really ought to consider using a VPN, like the one that I use, Surfshark VPN. This is a great little tool that you can use on your phone or on your computer that'll secure your connection to public Wi-Fi hotspots, hide your IP addresses, and make your browsing private. And just like I was able to find out where this dude lived, there are folks out there who can learn things about you. So stay private from surveillance, be secure while online banking, secure your crypto assets, bypass censorship, shop prices by locations. Seriously, why haven't you got a VPN yet? It's super easy. You just hit a button and you're ready to go. And Surfshark VPN is the best VPN that I can find for the price. And to sweeten the deal, you can get an 85% discount in three months for free when you use my promo code. This is a no brainer, you guys. Go try it out at surfshark.deal slash pleasant green. And please don't buy any puppies from someone unless you can actually speak to them on the phone. So thanks for watching everyone. You can watch more scam videos by clicking one of these buttons and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time.